you put your long top over there. Oh. On that piece of wood. <laughs>
I love you all very much, and I know your thoughts were with me. That was the greatest day of my life, one of the greatest days, but I'll let Maxie hear me say that. And first of all, Bridget, I saw your picture, and I saw yours too, Graham, and they're just gorgeous, you know. And I saw the fish you caught, Graham, up in Maine when you were there two weeks ago. Good luck. When I first looked at it, I thought it was the missing Moby Dick. Remember Moby Dick, the big whale? I had heard that he was loose in Maine, around the inlets of Maine, and I thought maybe you captured him or caught him, you know. But first of all, Neil probably told you all about the uh, retirement party, and I'm telling you, Neil, I'm so grateful that you were there. I really and truly mean it from the bottom of my heart, and once again, you're back in the will. I called Clancy the minute you left and reinstated you in the will. First of all, let me share with you, before we go into what the videos that Doyle and your illustrious brother Keith uh, took, you know, they weren't that great, but they're pretty good. You know, they captured a lot of it. Neil got... Maxie's back and my back and Jerry got the front of us so what I did rather than try to edit the vid videos I'm not too good at editing as Neil knows I'm going to run them both together and you can do what you want with them tape them over but at least you'll have a chance to see it again Neil thanks a lot first of all Maxie and I received this uh, oh I guess it's a oh for Cape Elizabeth Maine it's a gift certificate and it's for some uh, I guess motel or something up there I didn't even read it yet but it's kind of nice you know and what I did like, though, is when they came into the luncheon, everybody signed this, uh, I guess it's a big plaque, and they have the signatures of all the attendees at the luncheon, so I will know who came, you know, and who didn't. And on it, it has the love of my life, I guess. It has Maxie with the hat, I would imagine, the Boston Red Sox, my sneakers for walking, my bicycle up in the right-hand corner, and the computer, and the halls, cough drops, which is a big joke, because every time we had a staff meeting in my office and the analysts were there, and, and I was very nice when I used to say, anybody want a cough drop? That was the key sign for them to get up and leave and leave me alone. And the muffins down in the lower left-hand corner are what I brought in every Monday morning from the soup kitchen. Of course, they never knew it was from the soup kitchen. 
They thought I was a big spender. I thought that was kind of nice <clears throat> for them to give me that. And I'll, I'll remember that. I'll hang that up, too. This here, I think, was the greatest one. It was from my counterpart, George Cox, in the southwest region. And what it is, it's a picture of uh, Geronimo Mountain, where they have these uh, cattle, the Texas Longhorns. And at, when he took this picture, he had it enlarged. I guess a small snowfall had just occurred. And it really is serene. And I thought that was kind of nice because it had a personal touch. So I liked that very much, you know. Then, of course, I got all these other plaques that were, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's at, from the Eastern Region Accounting Office. And I was kind of upset because the chief accountant had his name larger than mine in print. But, no, he really didn't. He's not a bad guy. And this one here came from the Office of Budget in Washington. It's kind of nice they sent a representative down to give me the plaque. It was good. It was all right. It was kind of nice. And I looked and I looked and I even took it down and had it analyzed real thoroughly, but the eagle is not gold. It's not gold, so that's not worth that much either. Now this one here is from a fellow in my office. You'll see it on the video. He wrote a tribute to Al Duval, and uh, I guess Nia will be able to tell you about the story about Tony Willett. You know, I like him very much, but he has problems too, and I thought this was very sincere when he read it. You'll see when he reads it. Eastern Region gave me a nice watch, an FAA watch, which isn't bad, 17 jewels. I already had took that down to the jewelry store. And of course, you got all these kind of plaques here from the Federal Executive Board, Excellence in Government and Awards, you know, big deal, nice though. Then the Department of Transportation, FAA, Appreciation. I thought that was kind of nice also. There's so many of them, you know. Maxie got one too, but she hid it. I can't show it to you. I don't know where she put it. She's working today. And this one here is from a certificate of service from the DOT FAA, which is kind of nice. Then the regional staff and support team gave me this nice clock, which they had trouble collecting money for, I understand. Well, I was going to give the balance anyway. And so all in all, the day was great. I really enjoyed it, and I thought the people were very eloquent, you know, and, and it's a big day, though, you know. And then when I went to work Friday morning, I had a t-shirt and said, this is as dressed up as I'll ever get. I'm retired with the hat. But I just cannot get used to not being dressed up. I have to get up every morning and put on the tie. The one thing I won't do anymore is wear the shirt, though. But I'll take the tie off and I'll take the coat off so you can see the shirt. You know, I'll never wear these coats, coats anymore. I got them hanging up down cellar now. And Neil, you say I didn't have modern ties? My goodness gracious, what do you call that? That's as modern as you can get, I guess. If you can see the t-shirt, right, I'm retired, I'll wear this. Can you picture me wearing this hat, though? I've never worn a hat in my life. I love you all. Sit back. Enjoy the retirement of Al Duval. And tape over when you're through. They came in. I know that this will mean a lot to Al later on in life.